Two players drafted, first time since 1995 we've had two players drafted in the same draft. What's that talk about your program? Well, I think it speaks to those two kids and the work that they put in and the high character that they have. And, you know, winning matters. You know, the, the NBA is about winning. We, we, we won a lot of games. So I think it just speaks to when you win and do things the right way and work as hard as though to work, you know, your dreams are going to come true. So really happy for them. Hopefully, uh, you know, some more guys from this team end up playing in the NBA and achieve their dreams. But couldn't be happier for both of them this tonight. Primo went in the lottery. What, did that surprise? That's two lottery picks. First time ever that's happened. Did that surprise you? Talk about that pick. Yeah, you know what? First time in school history, we had back-to-back -back lottery picks in three out of the last four years with Colin. So, you know, I think we're headed the right direction. That way, getting some players in here. I, you know what? Maybe it surprised me a little bit, but not really, because I think the range. You know, I talked to his agent. He kind of told me 11 to 26. I had a long talk with the Spurs. I knew a lot of those people there, and. They really liked him, and they, they value high-character kids. They're going to work hard, and that's what Primo is. And he's got so much upside, and, you know, they, they're big on, you know, he's long, athletic, can make shots, and he's going to be a gym rat and get in the gym and work, and he's, he's got no red flags. That's the other thing. That people got to realize, like Herb and him both, there's, there's no red flags with them. There's no character issues, everything off the court squared away. So, you know, that goes a long ways, too. Talk about Herb going to the Pelicans. Two Alabama players playing together again. I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's really cool. Him and Kyra will be on the same team. So it's not too far of a trip either right there in New Orleans. So I think that would be awesome. I mean, I texted Kyra. Kyra's mom texted me. You know, they're they're fired up. I mean, Herb's such a good teammate and a good kid. And Kyra's a great kid too. So I'm really fired up. They got a new coach in Willie Green who's from Detroit. You know, so that's pretty cool too. So we'll, we'll – Maybe we'll get down there for training. We'll definitely get down there for some games for sure, though. Uh, last question, just, you know, looking ahead, the, the future. I mean, how, how does this help build the program, having this kind of pedigree on, on in just your first two years? Yeah, I mean, it's going to help in recruiting, obviously. You know, kids that were recruiting want to get drafted, want to play in the NBA, and now you're showing that you can put kids in the NBA. And, you know, obviously it's their work, but you put them in a system that allows them to show their talent. And, you know, we're definitely using it for recruiting. I know Petway said – some kids on the phone we've been texting some kids so you know they, they want to be the next one so hopefully in next year's draft we get get another lottery pick or get some more first round picks and then just keep this thing going